Oh yeah. Woo! Oh, that was some air. <laughs> Man, guys, this is dangerous. What a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm gonna make a little riding video today. Um, down this way, you climb some, and a little, little downhill section. So beautiful. But I got so many emails in the last 24 hours asking about clearance on this on this shock. Um, I guess a lot of people are wondering if this will fit. And to answer the question, it barely fits. So this is uh, maxed out and uh, it won't get any tighter than that. That's about eighth of an inch uh, clearance there. So it's, it's pretty close, but this shock here will fit the Trek rail. Um, I don't know about the rail five, whatever, rail nine, uh, but for rail seven gen two, this will fit. It's tight, but it fits. Um, I put, 240 psi in this shock um and i was getting about 40 percent sag but i figured with my gear i'm carrying right now my water my tools my spare my spare tube uh, my gopro my helmet so on and so on i'll probably get to about 30 25 percent sag i left all the valves open right now um i think from factory they come wide open all these adjustments here i didn't mess with them they're fully open. I'm gonna ride, see how I like it, and then I'll adjust from there. And um, yeah, so far, the response from this shock is amazing. Just riding down this first quarter mile section, it's 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 very, very responsive. Um, the rebound and the, and the compression, and uh, it doesn't kick me in everywhere. I jumped a little section there, and it didn't throw me around. So these guys, man, so I just put these on. These are the Dominion A4s. I'm gonna make a video on those. And uh, what I love about these A4s is you have these adjustment screws here and here on the post mount. You basically set your, you, you, you take them off all the way and you, you uh, snug these bolts here and then you adjust these screws where they hit the, the Allen nut there. And then you make sure that they're centered with the rotor and then you torque these. So basically, if you have to replace the rotor or your pads, whatever, um, once you put, them, put the pads back in or put the rotor back in, these will be centered again because you have it pre-adjusted. That's the only company I've, I've seen online that you can uh, adjust these. Um, and then they'll be centered if you have to take them off, put them back on. The Here's the, uh, the lever. It has a little grip texture. There's like two different colors. They have gray and black. That's what this is. And then they had uh, bronze, which I think with this color scheme on my bike, the white and gray matches this right here, white and gray. So I'm trying to kind of blend it and make sure it fits correctly with the, with the whole scheme there. But yeah, guys, uh, these things I just rode around the neighborhood before I came out here this morning. These things grab. And you can adjust how much power of grabbing you want with the set screw right there. You see the plus and minus? And you can also adjust the, the lever throw. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride it right now for the next 10 miles on this trail. And then I'll, I'll uh, adjust accordingly. But yeah, guys, let's hop on a bike and then we'll uh, go for a little ride. I'm riding in tour mode. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh, that was some air. <laughs> Man, guys, this is dangerous. With this, uh, with this shock here, it's making this bike very playful. Man, I gotta, I gotta make sure I take it easy. I don't know what this shock is gonna do, but it d definitely keeps the tire planted on the ground. Oh, um, it definitely feels like a coil shock, which that's what I, that's what I wanted. As soon as the tire lifts off the ground, it's putting it back on the ground immediately. Oh, 
Ging immer wirklich sein. That turkey messed me up. I am tired this morning. I'm trying to get some exercise. Oh man. Uh, I am so confident with this uh, bike. So talking about the brakes, you usually use your front brake more than your rear brake. Or at least you're supposed to. This Hayes Dominion A4 is incredible. It grabs when you want it to grab. You want it to do a soft grab. You can feather the, the handle, the lever, and it'll slowly grab, gradually grab. Like right now, I'm feathering it with one finger. So you have control of how much braking you want. With the SRAM and DB8, they're horrible. It's either something or nothing. Woo. Man, I haven't gone in this side in a while, so I don't really remember where I have to brake. And all these leaves, can't see the trail much. Make sure I'm on the line. Man. Woo! Oh, oh, look at that right there, guys. My back tire went up and the shock just pushed it down immediately. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Man. Woo. Wow. This bike is so responsive now some of these corners i would give out with my old shock this shock it keeps the, the wheel on the ground man if i dial this shock in it's gonna even be more responsive Whew. oh man all right 